I'm Jessamy Kelly. I'm a glass and ceramic artist um, based in Edinburgh, Scotland. I generally use a casting technique um, which involves um, using a plaster model um, and a, a casting that up um, into gel flex which is a rubber material. Um, I cast plaster and um, flint around that to make a refractory mould. Um, the gel flex is taken out and um, I pack that mould with a glass and ceramic mix um, using different colours and different grades of ceramic for it and uh, it all gets kind of pushed together and put in the kiln. The glass comes out and I break away the mould and I get this lovely glass form and usually I'll work on that a little bit so I might use a grinding grit um, I might use grinding wheels and um, lathes and diamond cutting machinery to kind of cut through the material and finish it. And then the, the absolute final um, section is either to sandblast it and make it a matte finish or to polish it and make it a clear um, kind of gloss effect. So kind of two different ways of doing that. I'm inspired by um, the materials of glass and ceramics and the way that light runs through the materials. Um, they, they kind of do very different things. Um, the ceramic has a kind of a translucent effect when light hits it and glass obviously has a kind of a, an effect that, that kind of throws the light away from it. It kind of reflects and refracts light. And I like the way that the two materials then work together when I combine them. So you get these beautiful light effects and translucent and transparent um, qualities that come through. I like to mix a matte and a gloss surface sometimes in my work so you're getting kind of very visual qualities from the materials. Um, I'm definitely inspired by kind of craft process and technique so that always comes through into my work but also I like to use um, different inspirations so I might look to landscape or sculptural form to, to start my work um, and this time I've looked to icebergs and melting ice which I think are very um, linked to the way that glass and ceramic can melt together and the colours that I use. I started working with ceramics um, actually at school, um, probably since I was about five years old. <laughs> I was very lucky, I had a very um, arty upbringing and I always thought I was going to be a ceramic artist and um, a course of glass and ceramics came up at Sunderland University. I always felt a bit torn um, throughout the whole process of my degree though. So. I was the only student that was allowed to work both glass and ceramics in, in the final show. Normally they say you have to specialise in glass or ceramics and I refused and made um, pieces that, that in, incorporated the two. Um, but I never actually managed to incorporate them in a hot state. They were juxtaposed in a cold state and that always niggled me. So I came back um, with some research eight years later, I think. I think I started um, working um, both materials together and that was part of my PhD to mix the materials together and um, it was a hard um, process but I always wanted the two materials to work together and I've always had this relationship between glass and ceramics that I wanted to, to show in my work and talk about which I think has um, always come through and some way I wanted those materials to work so everyone said it wouldn't work and saying, you know, glass and ceramics are incompatible and, you know, they don't work. Um, ceramics shrink, glass expands when you eat it, they're doing completely different things chemically, you're crazy. And I said, oh, I think I, think I might be able to get it to work. Um, I've, read, I've read some books around the area and there's some things going on with spaceships and cooker hobs that might work called um, glass ceramic. And I'm not obviously that technical, but I think I can do it in the studio. Um, so a material scientist came to help me and we worked out this material. It was five long hard years of PhD research but I think within three and a half years we'd got the technique right. <laughs> There's a lot of failures along the way but um, this material is now mine to use as an artistic um, medium really. So I'm really lucky that I had that support and opportunity with my PhD and that I've now got this kind of unique material that, that and process which is all my own. Mm -hmm.